what is going on guys? It is the Beast Pokeballer here as always and welcome to the next live Wi-Fi battle on the channel and today for you guys we got a OU battle versus my friend Poke Troll. Check out his YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter in the description below. But without any further ado guys, let's pick our music. We're going on music 3 because because I said so. And uh, let's go over the team real quick. We have the Mega Metagross, the Latias, we have the uh, Rotom Wash, we got ourselves a Clefable, we have a, uh, shoot, what's that thing called? Talonflame with no items, Acrobatics Bulk Upset, really, really cool, really good. Um, and then lastly, we have a Keldeo, which is our Scarfed Mon. Uh, the Rotom and Clefable are both holding the lefties, the Latias has the uh, Life Orb, and the Metagross, of course, has the Metagross side. So, guys, let's go ahead and uh, jump in real quick. Let's go ahead and take a picture of his team when it pops up on the screen. So we don't forget it. But he's going to rock in the Cresselia. He's got himself a Lando. That thing is scary. Um, a, shoot, what's that thing called? Sylveon, which is not really a threat because of the Metagross. Uh, the Caesar, though, that's pretty good. Uh, he has Slowbro, which is most likely going to be his Mega Rotom. Should have a pretty easy time getting rid of that. And uh, lastly, he's going to have the Cafagrigus. So, guys, who do we think he's going to lead off? I'm thinking the Lando or the Slowbro. Uh, knowing that, I'm going to start out with Keldeo. going to start out with Keldeo and see what Keldeo can do. Uh, but then again, Rotom might actually be a better... Hmm. I don't know. Let's look at Clefable's defense real quick. How good is it? How good is... Um, Clefable's defense is decent. Not the greatest in the world. Uh, hmm. <laughs> what about Rotom? Rotom's defense is really good. Uh... That's actually the lead with a Rotom now, I think about it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Alright, so yeah, we'll bring ooh, the rest of these guys in after. I think the Lando's gonna come out first, but uh, we'll see. So here we go. This might be a Trick Room team, also, and it's probably a Trick Room team. I know Poke likes to run with the Trick Rooms. So uh, I don't have Taunt. The, uh, what's it called? It's supposed to have Taunt, but it doesn't. Oh yeah, this is definitely a Trick Room team, isn't it? Yeah, Cresselia, that's gonna, that's gonna lead with a Trick Room. Yeah. Alright, that's okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just throw out a nice Hydro Pump here. Uh, knowing that he's just gonna throw out the Trick Room right now. It should do really okay damage, I hope. Oh god, that did nothing. Jesus. But yeah, there comes a Trick Room. Now, I'm gonna expect a switch into something here to take the, uh... Take the Hydro Pump. What would it be? Possibly the Sylveon. Uh, actually, the Slowbro is like a pretty good guess. So knowing that, maybe I want to throw out the Will-O-Wisp here. Or I can just straight up go for a Volt Switch. I'm going to throw out a Will-O-Wisp just to be safe, because uh, either way, it's going to do good against the Cresselia, just helping uh, bring its health down little by little. But this is a very bulky team. Uh, might be a little bit of stall. His most offensive thing, I would say, is definitely going to be the Lando. So if we can shut that down... Uh, then we're probably good. He's gonna send in the Sylveon. Smart, smart, smart. Uh, but it's probably not gonna want to take a burn, but it might also be carrying the Heal Bell. So it's not the greatest thing in the world. Uh, probably rocking the Hidden Power Fire, I would assume. So switching to Metagross would definitely be risky. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, go straight into Clefable at the moment. I like that idea. See if he goes for the Hidden Power. Shadow Ball. Alright, we should be able to eat that really well. Uh, yeah, that's also super effective against Metagross, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, we're going to take some health back from the lefties. Uh, what I'm going to do now... Uh, rocks aren't super big. Uh, I think Caesar gets Defog, but I doubt it has Defog. So, I almost want to just go for these Stealth Rocks here. What could he go in to take me out? Probably the Caesar. Now, burning the Caesar would be super nice, but... Uh, Maybe a Thunder Wave would help. Maybe a Thunder Wave would help. Uh, let's be safe and throw out the rocks right now. He's going to withdraw, of course. Going to Caesar, right? Yep, hi, Caesar. It sucks. I actually really wish that I had... Uh, I My Talent Flame doesn't have a fire move at the moment. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, now he's most likely going to predict a switch into Metagross, I assume, but he might actually just throw off a knockoff. Probably. I don't think he really wants to eat a knockoff. 
Um, but I think Keldeo kind of does pretty well against this thing. Actually, I think Keldeo has Hidden Power Fire. Does I need to check the set, which is on Google Docs, and I'm never going to be able to make it in time. So, I'm going to go into Keldeo here. Because Keldeo will be able to eat the knockoff and the bullet punch, whatever he wants to throw out, which is probably one of those. Uh, if he goes for the Swords Dance, we can fire out a Scald his way, which will be good. Now he's going to go for the U-turn instead. Uh, that's okay by me. We could have stayed in, and our Kalio took a little bit of damage. I didn't need to, uh, but that's okay. I, I want to know if this thing has in power fire. I can't remember. I really can't. I think it does, though. Either that or it's hidden power electric. Uh, but he's going to go to Cresselia. That's smart. That's smart. Uh, is Trick Room over yet? I don't think so. Ah, yes, it is over. Alright, so it's probably going to set up the Trick Room right here. So I'm going to take this time. And I honestly feel like... Going into... Maybe... Maybe Talonflame is a good idea. Ah, but Cresselia is so bulky. Do we have anything super effective? Uh, I don't think we do. Nothing has U-turn, nothing has... I don't have any knockoff on this team, which kind of sucks. Um, we'll go into Talon, see what we can do. This is a pretty bulky Talon, so if we get a little bit of setup and we still have the priority, we should be able to do good things, good things, good things, guys. So we go for the Trick Room, of course. I almost want to throw off another Will-O-Wisp here. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to throw off a Will-O-Wisp. I have Will unless I have Taunt. Did I switch it out? I do not actually remember. No, I have Will-O-Wisp. So, the options here are Acrobatics, Roost, Bulk Up, or Will-O-Wisp. I'm almost sure he's gonna switch. So we can go for the Bulk Up. Uh, we might render it uh, it's kind of useless depending on what he goes into. Uh, AKA the slow bro we would not be able to touch that. So I'll just fire off a Will-O-Wisp, see if it hits the Cresselia, it hits the Cresselia. He's going to go for the Psy Shock, that's not going to kill. Does literally nothing. And Cresselia's going to avoid the attack, that's okay by me. Uh, I'm going to go for the bulk up here, actually. Because uh, like, he like really honestly can't touch us. So the bulk up will help us uh, get up a little. What's he gonna go into? He's gonna go into the, the Sylveon, maybe? Yeah, Sylveon. Yeah, so now we got a free bulk up. We should actually be able to hit this thing pretty, pretty hard with our acrobatics, to be honest. It will probably kill after the burn and the stones, to be honest. Not gonna lie, this thing does massive damage with acrobatics as long as it's not holding an item. And uh, we're indeed not holding an item. Plus, we're plus one, so. Let's fire off this acrobatics real quick, see what it does. That's a dead Sylveon right there, there we go. That's probably the second most, uh, third most offensive threat. I don't know, the Seasaur's pretty, pretty scary. Um, but now we have to keep in mind that we are plus one on the defense, that's really good. His Lando's most likely a defensive one, uh, too, so we need to keep that in mind that we definitely can't one shot to kill it. He's going to go to Uncle Drew, which is indeed the Lando. <sighs> it's scary, it's scary. Uh, Intimidate's going to go off, which does not help at all. I'm going to go into Rotom here. I definitely don't want to lose Talon. Talon's really good. But he might set up the rocks here. And I don't want Talon to take that either. Uh, yeah, let's go into Keldeo. No, Rotom. I'm going to Rotom. Knowing that he definitely can't hit us for super effective damage. So that's okay. Bling, bling. He's going to go for the knockoff. That's going to hurt. Yeah, that's our leftovers gone. It still does a ton of damage. Uh, the dimensions return to normal, so we should be able to outspeed. So going for Willow Spear is completely safe. Because uh, it will shut down Uncle Drew, and he does not have Heal Bell anymore. Uh, but he's going to withdraw. What's he going to go into? Cresselia? Kafagragus. Alright. Kafagragus, I think is... Uh, I need actually look up what it is. And it's going to avoid the Willow. This sets 100% awesome. Uh, let's see, is Kafagrigus defensive or specially defensive? Let me look it up real quick, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, Kaf... Kafagrigus... Kafagrigus... I totally spelled that wrong. Um, oh, I spelled it right, what do you know? 
Just open up Bulbapedia. We have we have time. We have 80 seconds. It's over a minute. Bulbapedia, you better load right now. Fuck, kick your butt. Scrolling down, we see that it is indeed mostly a defensive Pokemon. Special defense is good. Um, it's probably gonna throw out the Willow Spear, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna just Volt Switch. It's probably super slow. Uh, it's probably gonna throw. <sighs> it's hard. I don't really deal with these things ever. I'll go for the Volt Switch. I know those things are special attackers, so we'll go into Clefable, knowing that if he burns us, that really doesn't do anything, uh, considering how we have the Magic Guard. Er, that's what it's called, right? Magic Guard. Yeah, so Willow is, is fine. Avoid the attack, whatever. I don't even care. Uh, now we get a free Thunder Wave on whatever we're going to throw it off on. Um, I wouldn't mind Thunder Waving this thing, but it, that probably wouldn't matter. And to be honest, Thunder Wave really just helps him, but it will also give us the chance that his Pokemon will like slow down after a while. So he's probably gonna go to the Caesar here, I would assume. No, he's not. He's gonna stay in. Uh, that makes me kind of afraid. Does he get like Sludge Bomb or something? I don't think so. I never really have used Cafagrigus, Kef whatever it's called. Uh, he's gonna throw out the Trick Room. That's like 100% fine by me. <sighs> Dimensions return to normal. Um, I almost want to predict the switch into the Caesar. Like for real. It's almost too obvious, really. <sighs> like, that's these are scary. Like, really scary. I'll switch into Talon Flame. No, special attacks will really hurt. But we can also get the Roost off, which would really help. I don't know. We'll go into Town Flame. See what happens. He's going to draw. Um, we don't have a fire move. But he probably thinks we do. Yes, he's going to go into the Caesar. That's awesome. That is awesome. So we'll just roost here. He's going to switch into the Slowbro, I would assume. So Willow might also be a smart play. Uh, we don't really need the roost. Nah, let's throw out the Willow. Slow bro, right? Show me the slow. Show me the, show me the bro. There we go. Slow bro. Mega slow bro, definitely, right? I know Poke always likes to use mega slow bro, and it's great in Trick Room. So that haired. But yeah, we predict that switch quite nicely. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is go into Rotom again. <sighs> Slowbro is definitely scary with slack off and everything, but I think with the burn helping us whittle it down, it shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Ah, uh, does it get Energy Ball? It might. I think it does. But I doubt he's carrying the Energy Ball. That seems really rare. Calm Mind. Yeah, that's scary as hell, but at the same time, really, with, like, Pain Split and stuff, it's not too scary. Like, it's scary, but it's not too scary. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna Volt Switch. He's gonna use Psyshock. Ouch. Not gonna kill. Oh, we live in. Cool. Super damage right there. I'm almost 100% sure that's enough for the Acrobatics to kill. Like, I wanna say that's enough for Acrobatics to kill, but at the same time, I can't risk something like that. But, you know, I think we're gonna have to because it's priority. Um, Talon Flame is going to throw out the huge damage, I would hope. After the burn, it looks like it is going to be enough to kill. That'll be fantastic. Oh, and the Dimensions return to normal, so I could have gone to, like, Metagross. Uh, but I'm going to throw out the Acrobatics right here. He's going to withdraw. Really, like, without the, uh, Regenerator, like, that wasn't even worth it. Uh, are we going to, like, take the Mummy ability? I'm going to cry. 
Good damage right there, but yeah, we're gonna take the mummy. That sucks. He's gonna take lefties. I can just go into Clefable again here. He's gonna set up the Trick Room, most likely. Uh, Clefable don't really care about that. He's gonna go for the Shadow Ball. Yum, yum, yum. We're gonna eat that, right? We're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat it. No crits, no lower special defense. Don't lower. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I don't know why I didn't set up Trick Room, that's kind of weird, but uh, let's just fire off a Moonblast here. Did we set up? We set up our rocks, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just throw off a Moonblast. Clefable is super good, guys. I It's like one of those Pokemon that like I don't really use much, but I recommend you guys try one out. Uh, it does actually pretty good damage. We get the Paralysis, that is huge, that is huge. That sets us up actually really well. Uh, to get rid of the Kefagra gifts. We're actually slowly taking down his team, really. Really, we are. So we'll fire off this Moonblast. Uh, and that should take it down to where one more hit will kill. He's going to withdraw. Going to Caesar, right? Oh, Cresselia. Um, honestly, it could be worse. I don't think this thing could really touch us too well. Thing I'm worried about, how much PP does Moonboss have? Like 10? Ooh, the special attack drop. That is actually also really huge. Um, yeah, that's actually good. I'm pretty sure it's PP maxed out, but I just don't know. I just do not know. Oh, no, we have a ton. All right, let's fire off a Thunder Wave. They're slowly, slowly hacking his whole team to death. We're looking good. We haven't lost a team member yet. He's going to throw out the Trick Room. That's fine with me. Um, his Pokemon are all slower than mine already. Most likely, they're probably all at like zero speed. So, these uh, Paralyzes are still going to help us. Paralyzes. These uh, Paralysis. These Thunder Waves are going to help us. Because uh, they'll just every other turn, uh, hypothetically, they will like freeze or whatever. So, Moonblast here. It seems like he's going to go into the... Uh, Straight into the Caesar again. Um, so I don't want to lose Rotom. I want to pain split like the Chrysalia or something. I'll just stay in and Moonblast. It's you know safest thing. He's probably gonna switch, but just in case. Yeah, he's gonna go into Caesar, isn't he? Yeah. We might have to sack Rotom, in all honesty. Which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Moonblast is gonna go off. It's gonna do probably nothing. Yeah, that's actually okay. But I'm definitely not ready to, uh, lose my Clefable yet. Especially when it's sitting at full health here. If you're going to Talonflame, let's scare him out. I might do that. Because Talonflame can eat, unless it's like a knockoff. Uh, it might be a knockoff. Knockoff will KO Talonflame. Bullet Punch won't. U turn won't. U turn definitely won't. Uh, I think it's best to just sack Rotom here. Or. Keldeo. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, we'll go on to Rotom. We'll sack Rotom. You, you did well, Rotom. Bullet punch. Dang, we could have gone to town. That's okay. You did well, Rotom. You did well. Uh, he's Life Orb, too. It's scary. Uh, I'll go into Keldeo. No. Dude, his moves. Is that. U turn did what Keldeo already took, right? He might not be carrying the, the uh, knockoff. Or not, yeah, Kelly actually walls out this thing pretty well, from what it most likely has. So I'll just, uh, fire out a Scald. Or, is that Hidden- Urgh! I need to know what Hidden Powers is, like, right now. I'm gonna try and figure it out, but if it gets to 60 seconds, then, uh... God dang it, my phone's on airplane mode, I'm gonna cry. 
<laughs> Alright, Google Docs. I'll just speed this part up for you guys. Alright, never mind. Turns out you need the Google Docs app. I'm just gonna throw out the hidden power. Caesar's gonna use U turn. Ouch! Slow bro. Show me your slow bro. Nah, slow bro won't really. Oh, what's he gonna go to? Cafagrius or Chrysalia, most likely? <sighs> yep. Alright, that was damage. A water attack would have been better. Clefable, back to you. Back to you, girl. It's probably only, does he like get a healing attack? He pro oh, dude, does he get pain split? I'm gonna die. Fudge. God dang it. That's okay. Oh my god, I, I literally knew that. I should have stayed in. Alright, alright, it's okay. At least the dimensions are normal or whatever. Moon blast, baby. He can even go into. Like, dude, Caesar will die after the rocks and the moon blast? Go into Caesar, please. Chrysalia, okay. Okay, okay. Rocks. Dude, we are still slowly taking down his team, really. Uh, I really want to stay in. Uh, I think our defense is good enough to take, like, the side shock or whatever. Yeah. Those things get, like, moonlight or whatever, right? Paralyzed! That's great. I want to lower the special attack. Like, that'd be awesome. Can we, please? Throwing it out. Just throwing out these Moonblasts, yo. That's really the best thing we can do. Trick room. I'm literally so fine with that. Nothing he wants to- like, nothing he can go into really wants to take the Moonblast. Like, even at this point, the Caesar will go down. Uh, this is best way would be Cafagrius, because it's at such high health. But like Slowbro's basically gone, Caesar's basically gone, his biggest threats are basically gone. He's gonna use Lunar Dance, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Don't go into Caesar. What's Lunar Dance? What does Lunar Dance do? What the hell is a Lunar Dance? Someone save me. If he goes into that Caesar, I will cry. And if it like heals it, oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Crap. Uh. Keldeo, like, you've done good, but. I, I can't. Uh. Now oh, we need Keldeo. Alright, Talon Flame. Uh, the, by the way, guys, I am currently downloading Google Docs trying to find out. Uh, what hidden power my Keldeo has? Ah, the knockoff, he had to... Oh, wow. We freaking ate the heck out of that. Oh, yeah, because we have no item. True? Roost. Roost, baby. Roost so hard. Slowbro? Alright, dude, Slowbro's gone. We just got a free Roost. That's cool. Oh, dude, Google Docs downloaded. Oh, my God. I think I'm doing pretty well in this battle. Like, that Caesar is still a huge problem. But, uh, we did pretty well. This thing, oh my god. Uh, I'm almost 100% sure that 
It's gonna go for the yeah, it's gonna go for the rock sign. What if it doesn't though? I wanna burn it! Guys, I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna burn it. This is for all the talent flames out there that have been taking those rock slides and the stealth rock. This is for you! Don't miss, don't you dare miss, don't you dare miss. Oh, he's faster, isn't he? Shoot. Alright, well that's uh that's that's crappy. Anyways, it's is Trick Room up? Oh! Yeah it was. Didn't know that. Uh it sucks. Okay. We have Keldia though. We indeed have Keldia. I am gonna throw off a Scald. He's gonna want to draw. Oh no, Caesar! No, it's gonna go on Cafagigus. As long as we can get rid of this like last Trick Room dude. We're kinda good. Not gonna lie. Wow, great damage, actually. We need to keep Caldeo for sure. Dude, I think he's gonna go for the trick room here. I wanna stay in and scald. This is so risky. This might actually cost us the game. Yo, oh, yo! Dude, that might be it. The C's are still a problem, though. The hacks, man. Alright, so, this Keldeo indeed has hidden power electric. What the? Okay. Alright, here comes Caesar. I think it's all tough with its bullet punch. I want to stay in. I want to stay in. Yo, like, Keldeo, you've done so well. You're staying in. Eat it. I know you can eat it. Yo, that's my Keldeo right there. I want to see the Skull do massive damage. I want to see it take it out. You're kidding. Alright, that's okay. We're going to have to switch because I need the Keldeo for the Lando, I think. Honestly, Lando probably can't touch Clefable. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna stay in. We're gonna die. You did so good, Keldeo. I've, like, never really used Keldeo before. This is the first... What? Yo, he must have over-predicted. Keldeo, the MVP, coming in hot. Uncle Drew, more like Uncle Knocked Out, I guess. Oh, this battle was intense. Intimidate, you ain't doing nothing, you ain't phasing us. We special Keldeo, we have Scald, that should be the game. There we go. Yes, dude, that's such a relief to win. That game was so fun. Guys, check out my man Poke Troll on his YouTube channel and his Twitch. He does a lot of Wi-Fi battling too, and he's actually the leader of the National Pokemon Association. Uh, so I'll link their Twitter below. Also, uh, great dude, really he is. Um, so that's gonna be the video, guys. I really, I enjoyed that battle so much. I hope you guys did too. Um, but hydrocan the like button, and as always, let the outro roll.